welcome to another episode of Madame Wesley and today we're going to be doing some maths. Okay and to start off we're going to do our math meeting song and then we're going to be looking at doubling and halving. Let's go. Mass meeting, mass meeting, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Mass meeting, mass meeting, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. January, February, March and April, May, June, July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Yes, they are. This time we need to try and sing it without saying the month April. January, February, March and May, June, July and August, September, October, November, December. These are the months of the year. Yes, they are. Okay, let's do our twos. Let's go. And then fives and tens. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred. Okay, right, we're now going to turn our attention to doubling. So when we double a number, we take the number, we take another number exactly the same, and we add them together. So for example, if I wanted to double the number three, I would get my cubes. You might want to get a whiteboard and pen or a piece of paper and a pencil, and you can write down the number three. So I'm going to get one tower of three, one, two, three, and I'm going to double it. Here is another block of three. One, two, three. So double three is double three is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's have a go with another number. Double. Five. Starting nice and easy. Okay, so let's take a different colour. And I'm going to get myself a block of five. One, two, three, four, five. And another five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to put them next to each other. There's my two towers. I'm doubling the number five. If I add them all together, see if you can write that down on your board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So double five is ten. Okay, let's have a go at a bit of more tricky one. So we're going to have a look at double eight. So this one is going to go past the number ten, which is why it might be a bit tricky. So, first of all, I'm going to find myself one tower of eight. Now, I had five before, so I'm going to add three more on. And then I'm going to use my green cubes to make another tower of eight. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As you can see, my towers are quite big now. Now, what I might do when I'm doubling eight is I'm going to make 10 first. So how do I make 10 using two different towers? So what I might do is I'm going to count five. One, two, three, four, five. So here's five. 
and I'm going to count at five on this side. One, two, three, four, five. Now I know what double five is already. Double five is ten. So I've got ten. But now I need to add these two together. I've got double three. We know that double three is six. So now I need to add together ten and six. So let me write this over here. Ten add six equals. So we're going to go 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we've got 16. Let's write that down. Double eight is 16. Right, let's do one more. Double nine. So let's get a tower of nine green. We count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And nine red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I have nine green and nine red. Now again, I'm going to make 10 first. So I know that five add five makes 10. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to add those together to make my 10. 10. But I've still got these left. I've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And double four is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have 10 and eight, which makes 18. So double nine is 18. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you some doubling questions to do on the board. I'd like you to work them out at home and then we'll go through the answers together. Okay, here are your questions to do at home. Double six is double ten is double four is double seven is Okay, if you could write your answers here, and then we'll go through the answers together. So, the first one is double six is 12. Double 10 is 20. Double four is eight. And double seven is 14. If you got those right, give yourself a tick. Fantastic. Okay, we are now going to look at the inverse, the opposite of doubling. And the inverse operation of doubling is halving. When we split something into two equal groups. Now that could be an object, or it could be a number. So first of all, I'm going to show you halving a few real items. So I've already done this one. So this is my apple that I was going to eat for my break this morning. And I have cut it into half into two equal parts. And if they are half, they are equal. Here is a potato. 
and I've chopped it in half. This is one half, this is the other half. And this is how we write half as a fraction. And now I've got a cereal bar and I'm going to show you me cutting it in half. So I'm going to go right down the middle and I've cut it into two equal parts. So now we're going to look at halving numbers and to do that I've bought some little helpers. I have got Cat, who's my daughter's favourite teddy, and I've got Dragon, who's my son's, son's favourite teddy. And what we're going to do is we're going to share out some numbers equally and give each of the teddies half. So the first one we're going to share out is the number eight. So half of eight is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself eight cubes. So I've got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, you might know already how many cubes each teddy's going to get. But for this example, I'm going to say one for cat, one for dragon. So here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. So, cat, got four and dragon got four. Is that equal? It is equal. They've both got exactly the same. So half of eight is four. Okay, should we do a bigger number? Let's have a go at half of twelve. So I'm going to get the number twelve. Now, if I was using my tens and ones, that would be one ten. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And two ones. And that makes twelve. So now I'm going to share that equally between cat and dragon. Let's go. One, one, two, two, three, three, four. Four, five, five, six, six. So each of the teddies got six cubes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So half of twelve is six. So we are looking at halving the number 18. So to make the number 18, I need 10 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And 8 ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is my tower of 18. It's very big, isn't it? I wonder if you can tell how many dragon and cat are going to get each. Let's find out. So one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine. They've both got nine. So half of 18 is nine. Now you can do this at home. You don't have to have cubes, you can share out anything. You could share out coins, you could share out spoons, you could share out stones in the garden. Um, so give it a go. I'm going to now give you some questions that I want you to answer on halving. I'm going to give you three halving questions. OK, 
Okay, so your first question is half of 6 is, then you've got half of 12 is, and half of 20 is. See if you can have a go at that at home. Now let's go through the answers and you can give yourself a tick if you got it right. Half of 6 is 3. Half of 12 is 6. And half of 20 is 10. Give yourself a tick. And remember that halving is the inverse, that means the opposite, of doubling. So we know that half of 6 is 3, but double 3 is 6. So it goes both ways. Half of 12 is 6, and double 6 is 12. Half of 20 is 10, and double 10 is 20. Well done, everybody. You've worked really hard today. I'll see you next time on another episode of Madame Wesley.